Hi, welcome to CS Glitz. If you are an absolute beginner, then you may ask, what's Python? A snake? No, Python is a high-level programming language. By high-level, I mean you need not to specify which computer instructions to use. Python can generate that automatically. In that case, it becomes easier to focus on what to do rather than how to do it. According to the Stack Overflow survey, Python is the fastest growing major programming language. Links to all of the sources are in the description. Python is not only used by the engineers and developers, but it's also popular among mathematicians, data analysts, scientists, animators, and others. A programming paradigm is a style or way of programming. Python supports multiple programming paradigms including structured, particularly procedural, object-oriented, and functional programming paradigm. According to the Stack Overflow survey, Python is the most wanted language amongst the developer for third year in a row. It's also one of the most loved languages by the developers. Why should you learn Python? Python syntax is friendly for a beginner. But in the hands of an experienced programmer, it can do wonders. Python is a programming language that enables you to work quickly and integrate systems more efficiently. Python is developed under OSI-approved open source license, making it freely usable and distributable even for commercial use. It works on all major platforms like Windows, Mac, and Linux. Python is often described as batteries included language due to its comprehensive standard library. This means that you do not need to install any external libraries for most of your work. Python is used in various domains. You can develop a command line app, GUI app or a web app. You can also write backend services and APIs. You can do data mining and data analysis. It's widely used in AI and machine learning. If you want to do something in Python, odds are there is already a library available for it. It's a go-to language for data science and machine learning. The heavy number crunching required for this field is usually done in faster languages like C and C++, but most of them you can already use in Python. Being part of one of the largest communities gives you the benefit of finding a solution online whenever you get stuck. It has the third highest tags in the Stack Overflow. When it's not a good idea to use Python Because of higher memory consumption and no access to lower level instructions, it's not preferred for device drivers, OS kernels or anything that works directly with the hardware. All the number crunching libraries are written in high performance languages like C and C++. If you want to write your own from scratch, then Python may not be a right choice for you. Due to its interpret nature, it's not recommended for real time or critical high performance systems. Interpret language means no compile time error, but a lot of runtime errors and a lack of static typing means it can take more time to test the code. Which companies use Python? Top tech giants like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, and others use Python for various projects. Apart from that, many startups that want faster development cycle or have a specialized use case uses Python. You can check top Python libraries that are used by many companies across the industry on GitHub like TensorFlow, PyTorch, Django, Scikit, OpenCV, and Selenium. There are many popular tech companies that heavily uses Python for development like Instagram, Spotify, Netflix, Dropbox, Pinterest, and Reddit. What job profiles can I get into after learning it? There are many profiles that you can find jobs in after learning Python, like software developer, quality assurance engineer, backend developer, data analyst, 
data scientist, machine learning engineer. According to the Stack Overflow survey, Python is associated with higher salaries than C++, Java, or JavaScript. However, this is most likely due to the higher salary domains that heavily uses Python like data science and research. Where can I learn Python? I am starting a tutorial series on YouTube to teach Python 3. Python 2 was officially discontinued in 2020. Although I will try to cover most aspects of this language, but the key is to be an expert in any language is to practice. To help you with that, I will be creating assignments on HackerRank so that you can practice and track your progress. Other sources include official documentation of Python, programming class, learnpython.org, Replit, an online ID using which you can run Python in your browser without installing it. There are many tutorials built by others that you can find online. Now you must be wondering why you should follow my videos. So here is my brief introduction. I have done my masters in computer science from one of the top institute in India. I have secured an all India rank of 35 among 150,000 candidates. I was also a top candidate for masters and PhD from top Indian mathematical institute. I worked on one of the top 5 tech MNCs. I have also worked in startup which specialized in cutting edge AI and deep learning technologies. It has now been acquired by a reputed brand. I have also worked as an independent consultant for companies. I used to practice in competitive programming challenges as well. I have interviewed candidates from top IITs for hiring. To know more about me, you can check my LinkedIn profile. You might think, what can you do after completing this Python tutorial series? We will be scrapping data from web. We are also going to build ML model, a web app and a backend server. We also try to do some fun projects like a mini game and an interactive demo using OpenCV. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.